Grand Theft Auto 6 is upon us. I can actually say that now because it's actually coming up. In the last few weeks, we've heard a lot of what Take-Two is planning for the next big Rockstar open world game, and we now have a pretty solid idea of when they're going to unleash it upon the world. The Take-Two CEO actually let it slip in a cable news interview. The GTA 6 is going to be coming out in fiscal year 2025, and while that is still another year away, it also means that this game is 100% going to launch within the next two years, and that is good news. Just like every other major AAA game on the market, the closer we get to the reveal, the more stuff starts to drip out and get leaked. And today, we have quite a few new leaks to go over regarding the GTA 6 map. But not only the map, the weather system and the potential announcement date as well. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Chaos here. Let me know in the comments what you think about these new GTA 6 leaks, especially the map leak. And let's kick it off with the first leak I want to go over. That's the map leak. Started circulating the internet. Now, this was just the latest entry in the long saga of GTA 6 map leaks, but from everything that has come out so far, we actually have a pretty solid idea of what Vice City is going to look like in motion and what some of the big points of interest are going to be. Recently, a concept map of GTA 6 started circulating Twitter. I'll put it on the screen right now. And notice for reference, they say, hey, the concept map for GTA 5 was pretty spot on. Wink, wink, wink. And it's been picking up traction once again after some of the other recent leaks have come out. For those that haven't seen it, the concept map obviously isn't the final product, but it's a painstakingly estimated representation of what it will end up being based on the various leaks that we've had so far. Wink, wink, finger quotes, okay? This seems to be the most detailed and accurate map concept on the internet right now, and it actually looks really sweet to me. According to the sources, the map will be roughly three times the size of GTA 5's map, and judging from the way everything is laid out here, it's going to have a pretty interesting flow. GTA 5's map was obviously based on LA and the surrounding areas, but everything on the map centered around the main downtown area. You could see downtown from pretty much anywhere on that map, and that was obviously the main focal point. But this map, this concept, it seems there are multiple major city hubs and a lot of smaller towns and points of interest in between them to make the map feel more alive as you drive from city to city. Before we move on, guys, if you get anything from G2A.com, Use code CHAOS. Any of the new games that are coming out, Starfield, anything you're looking for, the link is in the description. Get yourself some cash back. I also want to say uh, this is a concept. This is not confirmed by Rockstar or Take-Two, so take it with the concept vibe, okay? Now, we know for an absolute fact that GTA 6 is going to be set in Vice City, which is based on the real-world city of Miami, Florida. But by the looks of this map concept, once again, not final product, it seems like other areas of Florida are going to be recreated within the game as well, which is exciting. Similar to how GTA 5 recreated places like Venice Beach in addition to LA, but obviously, with how much bigger this new map's game size is going to be, three times the size of GTA 5, Rockstar is going to get crazy. Crazier, larger scale, rebuilding of Florida. So when you look at this map concept, it's easy to imagine the huge city in the southeast corner as being Vice City proper. But what about the smaller city on the west coast of the map, or on the north end of the map? Are those going to be recreations of other real-world Florida locations? And if so, where? Remember, this map is going to be reportedly three times the size. And from the looks of this concept, there's going to be multiple major cities. So does that mean Rockstar is going to recreate places like Orlando, Tampa? Are we getting Disney World? We have to get Disney World, right? Or at least Rockstar's Universe version of Disney World? Could you imagine exploring a GTA-esque or Disney World? Oh my gosh, that would be a game within the game. Now, I know a lot of those places aren't close to each other in real life, but hey, GTA 5 put downtown LA and Venice Beach basically walking distance from each other. Nobody complained about it, right? Then again, I say it again, three times bigger than GTA 5. Rockstar could totally do something crazy like that, or maybe make a parody of any other amusement park. Maybe SeaWorld. Who knows? Universal Studios. Could you imagine being a character and getting to go ride on immersive rides in GTA 6? Now, I know. The map concept obviously isn't final, and it's, it's not uh, confirmed, but it's exciting to use as a speculation tool, and I honestly can't wait to see what we end up with. Now, in addition to the map concept, there's been other things, other leaks, regarding GTA 6 new dynamic weather system that are pretty interesting. Let's talk about them. Last year, a bunch of credible leaks were floating around regarding how the ocean was going to work in GTA 6, and how things like the tides and the wave sizes we're going to impact certain water-based activities like surfing and stuff like that. Maybe fishing, boating. But from some new intel that just came out the other day about other aspects of the in-game environment, the leaks first surfaced on Reddit. 
Quickly taken down after legal request. You know what that means. That's validation. Suggests that there's some legitimacy, legitimacy there. The leak included some screenshots, and the leak claims that GTA 6's map will feature a dynamic weather system and that the player can expect a multitude of weather scenarios. Now, given the fact that the real-world area that Vice City is based on is known for having some pretty intense storms, rainfalls, tropical storms, hurricanes, I'm guessing Rockstar is putting a lot of effort into recreating that to some extent and making sure the game world reacts according when uh, a crazy rain comes down or the wind starts blowing really hard. Definitely some kind of next-gen system that Rockstar would want to put in the game like this, and it also sounds to me like natural evolution of the weather systems that's appeared in previous Rockstar games like 5 and Red Dead 2. So hopefully it lives up to the hype and it actually has a cool impact on the gameplay and it's not just something forgettable. Now finally... Let's talk about the potential timing of a reveal because a rather trusted Rockstar insider recently came out and gave their thoughts on when the reveal is coming, and it sounds like we're almost there. For the longest time, the going theory was that GTA 6 would be revealed on the 10th year anniversary of GTA 5, which means the reveal would go up next month. However, insiders recently have gone against that, stating that Rockstar likely won't be revealing the game in September, but that doesn't mean we're far off. According to Tez2, who has leaked a ton of Rockstar information correctly throughout the years, Rockstar is gearing up to reveal Grand Theft Auto 6. He posted on the GTA forums the other day that everything seems to line up with a high likelihood of Rockstar announcing 6 soon, probably in the coming months. He also suggested that GTA Online could play a part in the new game's reveal, which I believe because Online is one of the biggest games in the world. It still gets hundreds of thousands of players logging in every single day across PC and consoles. So I'm guessing Rockstar is going to use Online to their advantage, the same way Activision uses Warzone to hype up a new Call of Duty game, although it's obviously going to be a much bigger deal when Rockstar drops GTA 6 teasers. Anyway, since GTA Online isn't free to play, I'm guessing there's going to be a huge spike in GTA 5 sales when the GTA 6 teasers start going live in the online mode. Yeah, they're just going to double dip on everything. Now, personally, I'm 100% expecting a GTA 6 trailer to go live before the end of 2023, but I'm not expecting it to come in September with that 10-year anniversary. I think it's a little too soon, and the gaming world is a tad too stacked right now. Starfield is going to dominate the news cycle for September. Other games like Spider-Man 2, Mortal Kombat 1, Payday 3, Cyberpunk, Phantom Liberty, they're all right around the corner. I'm guessing Rockstar wants to make sure the spotlight is focused on them, which, I mean, I could go tell them it, 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 all of these games would go to the wayside if you announce, but whatever. It could mean revealing the game later this year, possibly November or December. I wouldn't be shocked at all if it ends up getting a trailer at the Game Awards at the end of the year. In fact, if Rockstar wants to get the most eyes on it as humanly possible, I think that's the best move, to be honest with you. At this point, we really, we don't, uh, the point is we don't have to wait much longer. It's coming. I promise. I'll keep you guys posted if anything new breaks, and I'll see you soon.